Have you ever thought what tack or items look like in different countries? What's different about them? What do they call them? Well, we'll talk about that in this video. Hi, I'm April and I'm an equestrian and I own an equine inspired business. I currently, well, I recently moved back to the States. Well, it's not even been year, a year yet, but we lived in Germany for three years. And I, of course, wanted to learn all about the equestrian world in Germany, which you all know is really large. And I wanted to go to their tax stores. So I went to a couple of them. I went to one that was very close to my house, but it was very expensive. I don't think I could buy anything in there. It was just top of the line type of tax store. And it was more like a clothing store than a tax store and just all the riding outfit and equipment that you would need. Um, there wasn't a lot for your horse, maybe a few things, maybe some grooming tools. But one of the bigger popular brands was, I probably will say this wrong, it was Kramer. I know, I think they're actually a UK based brand, but they are um, located pretty much all over Europe. You can purchase off their UK store or you can purchase off of their German store. My first purchase was off of their website. It was when I needed to buy a pair of riding pants or in Germany, I believe they're called Reidenhosen. Um, I really needed some. All I had was some jeans and um, the riding pants that I had were, um, I think, too small. And one was for the winter time. When I was working at the tax store and knew I was going to come to Germany, I wanted to get some that were warmer. They had so many fun colors and um, different color matching with different riding pants, so many different brands. I probably went for a little bit of a cheaper brand just because I was starting to ride dressage and I didn't know how many lessons I was going to take. I didn't know how dedicated I was going to be with taking the lessons. So, but I really liked that this one had a little front pocket. I could keep my little euro in there for when I needed to pay her. Because in Germany, you pretty much pay for everything in euro, like the actual cash. You don't um, pay for things with debit card or credit card. I always wanted to make sure I was able to hold on to the moolah for her. Um, I, I just like these colors. I actually found some really fun socks that I don't have anymore that match this. I liked um, the little bit of grip in the leg. Um, and then this also had where you can tighten them up around the legs, which I thought at the ankles, which I thought was really important since I had some riding boots that the they were I just hadn't worn them in forever, which was funny because they actually still fit me really well and I was able to ride in them when I was taking these lessons. And of course they all have it in German size. So that was also another fun thing, trying to figure out my size and go ride. These are a little bigger. I was when I first moved to Germany, I was a tad overweight um, we had eaten a lot in america before we had left to germany because um, we were home for a month before we left you'll see here how the different sizes how different they are um, hopefully you can see that well so that was fun going back and forth between two different sizing um, things to figure out what size i was going to need and i was pretty happy with them once i got them and i, I wore these quite a bit and um, I haven't worn them since being back just because I haven't really written any English, but if I needed to, these definitely still work and they're definitely doable. Um, especially after, I'm, after I have this baby, I may still be needing a larger pant before I lose some weight. So this, these will be good. That I'm happy that I held on to these. Some other things that I bought when I bought those, I bought some socks and some riding gloves because they're really, when I was taking lessons, I really wanted to make sure that you had some riding gloves. I didn't want you to ride without any riding gloves. So that they were very particular on that. And then as I was riding and progressing, I wanted to actually go to these tax stores. I actually had seen them on the road as we were driving by. And there was the Kramer tax store is either in Nuremberg or in Regensburg. And they're both about the same, about 45 minutes away. So we decided to go to Regensburg and we actually went with friends the first time we went and they actually had a festival in Regensburg after we went to the tax store. So it worked out really well because my friends weren't really horse related, but they went anyways because they knew that's what I wanted to do. But Kramer was, it was an amazing tax store. Super large, like as soon as you went to the left, it was all fun for the kids, horsey items and then, you know, halters and grooming items. And then you got your saddles and your blankets and just tons of options too. Not just like very limited and if you want any more, we can order it. No, it was like all there. 
ton, like the writing for English, tons of writing, pants, jackets, helmets. The helmet selection it was just huge. We actually bought my daughter's helmet there and she still can fit in this one. And she absolutely loves it. I like that they had like smaller sizes for kids. I know kids probably ride at a younger age there, but there's kind of a very limited option here. You have, I know the Troxels have um, one, but their truck, their kid one is so big and it's just so bulky. <laughs> it doesn't, I, I wouldn't want to put it on my toddler. Anyways, they have a decent kid size helmet and they're more oval shaped. But I was like, well, let's try it for a German one. And the German ones were kind of actually cheaper. And they actually have, they have to be certified, I think, even more than the American helmets. So I was like, why not try one? So right now she's still been wearing it and she loves it. Like it, I have to hide it so she doesn't know that um, we're not going riding or something. And I don't want her to bang it up and such. So um, it was a good investment and it still works and it's really cool. Um, this is a small, they actually had a smaller helmet than this, an extra small. I just like that. There's, it's just purple and pink and they had tons. This is called Ride Ahead. And when it says like Ride Ahead, but then it's H-E-A-D. That's really cute. Play on words, even though, like I said, we bought it in Germany, but um, it is a UK business based out of UK. I wanted to buy some fun things for my daughter before we left Germany even though I know she wasn't going to quite fit in them, just because she was from Germany, and I just thought it'd be kind of special. So I bought her these fun little gloves. Um, she may be even able to fit them now. But I thought those were super cute, and I got matching socks. So when she's able to fit these, and when she takes her first English lesson, I think those would be super fun and cute. I hope she really enjoys them. So those are some items I bought for my daughter. And then winter time, because we went to the store, we only went to the store a couple times, but because I didn't have my horse there, I didn't buy a lot for him. It was more like items for us. Um, this was my second one, but I had another one that I had really liked too. It was really great if I was riding in the winter, because I was riding in the winter there. Keep my ears warm underneath my helmet. And I loved their little air warmers. They were it's nice and thick, but they still fit under the helmet and I kept my ears super warm because that's one thing I cannot stand getting cold is my ears. So our last trip to the store before COVID, um, it was actually on the way home. My friend had gotten married on um, leap day of 2020. I went home um, and on the way, my, my husband and I were driving home from the airport. We actually stopped at the tax store because um, I knew it would probably be our last time before we were supposed to be moving. And then, then COVID happened, so I was happy that we actually went when we did. There's actually <laughs> this halter I got. I want. I haven't used it yet. You can see I still have the tag on it. Um, and how much was it? It was 22 euro. I haven't used it yet because I actually want to use it for like a photo shoot with my horse. And so I'm waiting to. We may do like a maternity photo shoot or such. So I'll use that then. Um, it's cute. It has rose gold. They call uh, this in German. My German's not as good as it used to be for a little bit. Halter. I really like this one. It has a clip just like um, some of my favorite ones in, in the States have. It actually has a buckle on both sides. Um, I don't think I've seen too many of those here. And then it has a little padding for the top of the head. And then some of the halter, halters have bigger spots for their nose band, which I, I thought were cute. This has a thicker support band there. And this brand is Felix Buhler. The Swiss design. Um, they actually even had a matching dog collar that I wish I had gotten now, but I didn't. But I got a matching lead rope. And their lead ropes are different. They're not as thick as ours, I don't think. They have a lot of these clips. I think some of our lead ropes are starting to go to this. I think when I went to the tax store here in Texas, there was a couple like this. But when I was younger, I did not see them like this for the actual lead rope. I kind of liked that. And Especially because they have a lot of warm bloods over there. It was nice to have halters like this. Um, so I was kind of cool and I like that. It's kind of like rose gold. I had a rose gold moment for a while where I was really liking this. And this is kind of on brand for me. So that's why I kind of went for like this sage green and rose gold. So I really liked these two colors together. And that's what I bought for King before I came home. So I'm excited to put this on him, see how it fits and see how it looks on him when it's trying to do a photo shoot. All right, and last but not least, I did buy a dressage 
number we put this on their um, bridles at dressage shows um, even when you're kind of walking around at a dressage show it's required to have these on their bridles or the halters at all times i had an own one and i had started showing western dressage and i want to continue to do that and i just like how this one was bedazzled and there's actually two of them in this package um, and it was only seven euro so I think they're more expensive here actually in the states so that's why i wanted to get them it is kind of interesting like how a lot of the horse things over there even with the conversion rate with the euro and such and the u.s dollar being less it was cheaper to buy a lot of things over there like i think even this lead rope it was 13 euro and like i think these were on more of the pricier side the halter lead rope just because they're fancier and had the rose gold medal um and that's what i wanted you don't really, I don't think I've really seen such fancy halters over here in the States, um, unless they're like a leather halter. I was excited to get those items, and these are just items that I bought for my horse before we headed back to the States. And I still have some friends over in, in Germany that, like, if I really wanted to order some other things, I could probably buy and they could ship to me um, through the post box or post office, um, so I wouldn't have to pay crazy shipping fees from Germany to the U.S., that's kind of some of the perks of knowing some military over there still. But yeah, this is kind of my mini tack haul of things that I purchased over there. If you like this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up if you want to see more videos of tack hauls. Or if you would like to see some videos of other things that I learned and did in Germany while I was riding. Um, I learned a lot of German words for riding. I'm almost about 90 to like 80 to 90 percent of my riding lessons were actually in German. Um, getting towards the end, now my German has kind of lost. Like if you're not using it, you lose it. I have a whole long list of a lot of German words that um, I can share with you and I kind of have a fun video with that. So if that's something you want to see, make sure you leave a comment below and I will catch you all in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button.